What's going on everybody? Hope everybody's doing well. So yeah, we're gonna see if these bells can bell. Oh yeah, you gotta love it. So let me just tell you something real quick. A couple of weeks ago, me and Ryan from My Dinto Percussion were talking and I was trying to schedule when I could send back his requinto because I still have it. And uh, he mentioned to me about some bells that he's actually currently uh, carrying on his site from ELH. It's actually, the bells are made from Evelio Llamas Hernandez and he's actually currently based in San Francisco, California. He's making these bells out of his garage. And, you know, Ryan kind of convinced me to test these out and to, uh, you know, just see what I think about them. And uh, I decided to kind of share this on the channel. And I've been holding on to this because I want, and you know, an honest opinion and a genuine reaction to me trying these bells out for the first time. And so, yeah, I'm gonna do that. If you guys don't know, I'm very, very, very picky about my bells um, because my journey with percussion actually started on the cowbell. My mom bought me my first bell when I was seven years old. And that's actually what, what started this whole journey. So I'm, I am very picky with, with cowbells and how, how their tone is and, and just how they project. Uh, I probably own right now currently like 15 or 16 bells. Um, and I'm talking about hand cowbells, not including, you know, you know, cha-cha bells that you can have on the side or things that you mount. I'm just strictly talking about hand bells. And um, yeah, I have, I have a bunch. And uh, yeah, I just wanted to see if these are good, you know, if, uh, if it could uh, make the cut and see if it uh, is. But yeah, let's uh, talk about these bells. So the first bell is actually the high pitch bell that we're gonna try out. Um, this test is gonna be all without any EQ. Um, but it looks, it feels good in the hands. Um, yeah, I guess a nice, nice size at the end. If you could see right here, it's a nice size mouth, um, nice boca. And if you could uh, see as well, it's like, you know, pretty, pretty good construction. Um, I like it. And if you see this right here, it's like a nice little triangular shape. You know, it's kind of a, uh, kind of unique. Let's see. Yeah, it got some, uh, it got some overtone uh, already, and uh, we'll see how that goes. Uh, <laughs> um, also, uh, Ryan, I think if you, if you get some bells, you get to try out these beaters as well. So there's a thick beater from ELH and a small beater. Um, so we're gonna test these out with both. But yeah, I mean, uh, when it comes to high pitch bells, you know, I, I am very, very picky because, uh, well, well, I've had a JCR high pitch for a long time. Let me see, it's right here. Probably had this JCR for about well over 15, 17 years. Well, easily. And this thing, uh, this thing projects. But we're not comparing uh, this as well. I have a Sepe, which I've had this for about like five years, five or six years and this is like mid to high, um, but as you see, this one is, it gets there. But uh, let's test this out with the, the bigger beater and see how it sounds. Again, this is gonna be without any EQ. Ooh, okay. This thing yells. Wow, yeah, this thing, um, this thing goes, man. This is, this is crazy. Wow, it's loud. So this reminds me a lot of my sepe, but with way more projection, way more overtone. Um, this with the big beater, let's try it out with the smaller one and see what, what that does. Um, 
But yeah, I'm, I'm kind of impressed. This is really nice. Okay, so with the smaller beater, you're getting more of a higher pitch, thin sound. Um, the other one's a lot of a bigger sound. So if you were looking for not projecting or having that much ring, you know, the thinner beater, I guess, will go a lot better with this. Yeah, that's pretty interesting. I like it. I like it. I think like if you needed to project, you needed a high pitch bell, this right here, man. Yeah, this thing can can yell. This thing can yell. But let's try the mid-tone beater. So this is the ELH mid-tone and this one's tuned to an A. Uh, feels good. Um, a little bit big for a mid-tone, but I think, think it's good, you know? Uh, let's see. Yeah, you know, it, you, could, you could hear it, it has some ring to it. Again, it has a nice size mouth right there. A good, good, uh, you would say, feel in that mouth. And let's see on the side view. As you can see, it has a nice angle again, similar to the high pitch one. It has a nice little tip called the mountain, um, but it should help with, I guess, the tone of it all. Um, but let's see. So the big beater. This one has a lot of ring to it, <laughs> a lot of overtone. Um, but I, I'm starting to get the style of, of ELH. I'm starting to get that this is meant for that player that's really trying to cut through a band. So if you're in a salsa band, you're not mic'd up, guess what? This is, this is not bad, you know, if you wanted to project that way. Let's test it out with a small beater. Very, very interesting. This is probably, you know, a little bit less of my favorite in comparison to the high pitch one. I think the high pitch really, you know, I could hear it sing. This one, I don't know. It, I have to might maybe get used to it. Hmm. Interesting. Very, very interesting. But I am excited for the next bell. That's the low baby, the big baby. Let's see how that one sounds. All right, now this one is, um, yeah, this one's the low one. This one you could tell just from the feel, just from the size that this one is meant for that low register. If you're looking for some, I think some modern salsa uses a lot more of a, you know, that DLG kind of sound. You know, the Sergio George bell, that's one of my favorite bells, especially regardless companies, just the sound that that LP decided to make on a bell like that. So uh, it's pretty awesome. And let's see how this one is, man. It's uh, feels good in the hands. Uh, I could, it's not like overwhelmingly big, uh, but I do have, you know, kind of big hands, but it, it feels good. It feels like I could grip it. But yeah, the, the mouth on this thing is really, really thin and um you could tell it's right there it's not that big of a mouth but you know you could you could sense it and uh if you notice this one let's see if the camera picks it up it's not that much of that little mountain you know so i could see that kind of held back from this style but you know it doesn't feel like it's poorly made um but yeah let's let's hear it with the big beater see how it could uh, project and 
and uh, and I think that's the the important part because a lot of low bells like for example the the LP sir here George Bell as low as it is it doesn't project as much you know that's that's one thing that's very important like that has to be properly mic'd and you know in order for it to kind of sing where JCR made a lot of bells you know that that were low register that could really cut through so as as i'm seeing the style from the last two i think he's looking for a sound that's able to project through so let's see how it goes This is interesting. This is very interesting. Do you hear that? It's like, it's crazy, man. That, that sustain? Yeah, I think if you're looking for a low pitch bell to project, now let's hear with the... Yeah, very, very interesting. Again, this is without EQ. Hmm. Very interesting. Like I like it and I don't like it at the same time, which is good. It's a good thing because I, I'm so used to that low Sergio George Bell where it doesn't project as much. But this one, man, if, if I'm in like in a crowded room and I needed to play the bell and I wanted a low pitch, yeah. I think this would be it because you could hear it. You hear that? Like, hmm, interesting. Very interesting. I'm intrigued. But in order for me to kind of jam with it, let me see if I could put on a track of me playing some congas and uh, play these bells along to it. Yeah, let's try that out.
So my honest opinion about these bells. First of all, I think they sound awesome. They sound great. I think for the setting, I think they're really meant for uh, a live venue. So when you're around a bunch of people, you're trying to cut through, I think these bells will fit perfectly in that setting. Indoors here, especially with, with how I'm set up here, I think there's just a lot of overtone. Indoors, there's not a lot of things that, that are, are able to absorb that sound. And um, I, so I probably wouldn't use them. Maybe the high pitch, I would probably use them in, in to record the high pitch bell. Um, I would just have to really mess with it a little bit. But for outdoor setting, for, for big venue setting, yeah, those bells, they, they could cut through, especially that low bell. If you're looking for a low bell that, that could cut through anything, that's that's probably up there with, with the JCR low bell, man, and as well as the high pitch. The mid, um, I was not the biggest fan of, but um, I could understand that tone. I think if you were looking for that note, specifically an A, uh, man, that that's a, that's a great, great tone, but I've just, I've never been a fan of mid-tone bells. Um, um, not not the biggest fan of those, but again, that's my preference. A lot of people just live on mid-tones and and uh, they, they make them sound great. I have a couple mid-tones. I think La Gorda from the Mino is considered a low mid. Um, but yeah, I, I think it's just, um, when it comes to bells, everybody has a specific preference. Um, the high pitch really surprised me though, man. I'm a big fan of high pitch and as well as the low band. The, the, the low, again, if you need something to project, that thing will cut through. In a setting like this, I probably wouldn't use it to record because it, it would be some work, you know, to, to, to work with, especially micing it. But um, yeah, man, that's that's my opinion. I think these are great bells. You know, Avelio, you're doing a great job. You know, um, thank you for, for sharing, you know, your, your art with us and, uh, you know, trying to look for that sound, man. You know, I think uh, especially when, you know, Kali from, from, from JCR passed away, you know, a lot of bell makers have, have been, been emerging trying to look for that signature sound and and trying to take it to the next level. And I think, you know, ELA, ELH is, is, is going, you know, trying to look for that for that signature sound themselves. And, and it's, it's awesome. It's awesome to see a lot of diverse views and, and, and sounds when it comes to the cowbell because it's extremely important, especially in Latin music. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please comment down below. Let me know what you guys think. You already know what to do. Like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Have a great day. Thank you.